Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Nutrition in plants Modes of nutrition in plants Autotrophic nutrition Photosynthesis in plants Heterotrophic nutrition Saprotrophic nutrition Symbiosis Replenishment of nutrients into the soil now, nutrition. So, what exactly is nutrition and from where is this nutrition coming up? Now, let's start from the very basics. We talk about living organisms, we talk about non-living organisms. Now, what are the basic things that distinguishes living organisms from the non-living ones? How do you basically differentiate which is living and which is non-living? So, on this screen, you actually see a lot of things on the left hand side which are non-living like table, chairs, fans, guitar, bell. Whereas on the right hand side you will see a lot of animals which are living like elephant, mouse, birds, human beings, even plants. So these are all living organisms. So what basic difference lies between these two? Now you can say that anything which is living Inside that their bodies, the basic processes are working. So the basic processes are on inside the living organisms. Now, what do I mean by the basic processes? You think of a living organism. For example, say the elephant. Now elephant needs food. If you stop giving food to the elephant, what will happen? It will start becoming weak and over a period of time it will fall ill and it can even die. And once it dies, it is no more living. Right, But if you think of a chair, do you think the chair needs food, the chair needs water, the chair needs oxygen? No, none of these. Why? Because all these needs are not there because there are no processes which are happening inside the body of a chair. But if you look at the body of an elephant, inside the body so many processes are occurring all the time. For example, the elephant is breathing, so the process of respiration is happening. The elephant is eating, process of digestion is happening. Circulation is happening through which blood is circulated to different parts of the body. So all these processes which take place inside the body of a living organism, they are called life processes. And these life processes actually distinguishes the living organisms from the non-living ones. So now many, many people say that, okay, living organisms and non-living organisms, basic difference is that living organisms will move and non-living won't. But that's not true because if you look at the plants, they also do not move from one place to another, but they are still living. Why? Right? Because these life processes are taking place inside the body of a plant. So the plant also needs food. So what kind of food the plant needs? Plants need water. Plants need sunlight. Plants also need the various gases like carbon dioxide, oxygen. So all these things are playing a very important role in the various life processes that takes place inside the body of plants. So what are these different life processes? Now, what are the several processes that happen inside the body of every living organism? Now, here we will just look at the names of the various processes that take place inside our body and then we will dedicate this lesson on one such life process. Now, some of the life processes are nutrition. Now, when I say nutrition, what is nutrition all about? Have you ever heard of a nutritionist? Maybe when you go to, when, if you have ever visited a hospital, you would have seen nutritionist. What is nutrition? Nutrition is nothing but related to food. So it is all about the intake of food. It is all about how food is obtained by a particular living organism, how the food is taken in, how the food gets absorbed inside the body. So all those things come under nutrition. Now different living organisms have different food fooding habits. For example, if you talk about human beings, human beings eat both plants as well as animals. Now, some of the human beings are vegetarian, some of them are non-vegetarian. 
If you think of, uh, uh, say, a starfish, so the food which the starfish eats is going to be quite different than that of human beings. Right? Again, if you talk about the nutrition in case of plants, so they are also going to have different types of food requirements. So they need water, they need sunlight. So their requirements are different. So nutrition is one important life process because through nutrition, it gives food to the living organism. Then that food provides energy to the living organism to perform a variety of activities. Another life process is respiration. What happens in respiration? Respiration is the process where exchange of gases take place. Basically, you're breathing. So when we breathe, what do we do? We actually take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide. And why do we do that? Because each and every cell inside our body, each and every part of our body needs oxygen. So how do we bring oxygen inside our body? Through breathing. So the entire process which takes place that is respiration and oxygen is required in order to obtain energy from the food which we have eaten because nutrition just takes care of the fact that the, that we eat food and the food gets digested but how do we get energy out of that food that again is controlled by the process of respiration then comes transportation now okay so food is prepared i mean the food has entered inside our body oxygen has been made available to the body so the food has been absorbed by the body now that food needs to be transported to different parts of our body because our body is like quite large we have hands legs and each part of our body needs energy not only our body if you I'm talking about any living organism. You talk of a plant. So the, in plant also, the entire plant needs energy. The roots, the stem, the shoots, the flowers, everything needs energy. So the transportation, that is the circulation of the food takes place in this life process. Next is excretion. That is throwing out the waste materials. Now the body doesn't want any waste. So all the waste materials need to be thrown out of the body by this process of excretion. Control and coordination. In this, proper synchronization is maintained between different organs of the body. For example, you take think of uh, human beings. Now when you touch a hot cup of coffee, what do you do? As soon as you touch the cup, you immediately take your hand back. So your you took your hand back. Why? Because your mind instructed your hand to come back so basically there was a synchronization or there was a coordination between your mind and your hand so that so all these type of coordinated or synchronized movements of our body fall under control and coordination reproduction that is the produce production of species or production of organisms of similar kind generations after generation so that the species can be sustained so all living organisms reproduce. If a particular organism stops reproducing, what will happen? Over a period of time, that species will get extinguished because that species will no more be there. So it will get become extinct. Growth and development. So you see a baby is born and then after 10 years, the baby is like quite big, a young boy. Again, after 20 years, he is grown into a man. So how does that growth, the growth in height, weight and overall growth and development which takes place inside the body, that is also a life process. So the size of the orga over organism overall changes. Movement. So a lot of organisms are capable of moving from one place to another. However, if you talk of plants, uh, they cannot move from one place to another. However, some parts of the plants are flexible enough and they can move. So one very simple example would be the touch me not plant. So have you ever come across a touch me not? Even if not, you must have heard about it. So which is also called chui mui in India. So when you touch the plant, what happens is it just uh, shrinks. So that movement is again present in plants also. So these are the various life processes which take place inside the body of every living organism. So now our focus in this lesson is on nutrition. So nutrition is all about food. So we want to understand why are we talking about nutrition first of all and what 
I mean, what exactly an organism needs to do to obtain food, how it gets its food and then how that food gets digested inside our body. So we are going to talk a bit about food. So why do you think uh, we eat food? Now we eat food, not only we, but all living organisms again. So whether you talk about us, we eat food in the form of maybe uh, milk, vegetables, fruits, uh, maybe fish, meat. So that's how we eat food. In, in case of plants, they eat food in terms of water, in terms of minerals, in terms of sunlight. So those are the requirements for a plant to grow. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.